Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. This is Miles Luigi. This is the evil pop -tot. Well, I'm happy you're all pumped and excited, because this is the ever-so-loved looking... Everyone's looking forward to this episode. The Miles Luigi spends a lot of his life cooking all the recipes in this game. Wait, <laughs> what? That's... You, you lied to me! <laughs> That's not what you told me, you sneaky... It's time to cook every recipe in the game. The good thing is the game keeps a list of, oh, what is it, 51 recipes to cook. There are technically more in the game, and I'll be showing some of them, because I got a list off of the internet and it listed more. So, um, this I recorded by literally putting on some music on my headset and just playing this game, running all over the world, collecting the ingredients to cook everything. You still lied to me. as simple as that. All right. So if you want to get yourself in the mood, just mute us and play your favorite music, and you kind of get the feeling of what it was like for me to cook everything, minus all the running around the world. <laughs> um, a lot of the recipes that aren't in the list, for example, the one I'm cooking right now, is some item and point swap. This point swap has the magical ability to swap items. A great example is a point swap and a mushroom will give you a honey syrup, and a point swap and a honey syrup will give you a mushroom. Or in this case, a point swap and a boost sheet gives you a repel cape. And a point swap and a repel cape gets you a boost sheet. That makes sense? You still lied to me. Not happy with you. <laughs> no, it does. And I've sat here and done multiple recipes too. It's just... I guess it's for completion's sake. I mean, it's really pointless. Because some of the items you spend coins on you get a lesser item in return, so you actually yeah. lose money on the deal. Oh yeah, but that's okay. This next item is actually very frugal and useful and something I actually recommend. So, hot sauce, which you get from the business rat's trouble. You have to pay 10 coins for hot sauce. Plus, a tasty tonic, which only costs 2 coins. So, net cost of just 12 coins will get you this neat little item. You'll love this one, Evil Pop-Tart. I've never gotten the hot sauce, so I don't know what you can make with it. Inky sauce! Inky sauce. This replenishes 30 FP. Oh, wow. Woo! Nice. About time we get something intermediate. 30 FP? That is definitely worth it. Fill your inventory with that. Just use Babam Blast on everything. I know. <laughs> I miss my wacka bumps from the original Paper Mario. I really do. Oh, I like my wacka bump recipes. That's why it sucked when I took it out in this one. I was so mad. Did you kill Wacka? Yes, I did. But at least you could, in the original Bear Marl, you could use a, those Wackums to make some nice recipes. In this, they kind of was like, nah. Well, there are some recipes there, but... Anyway, if you cook that uh, inky sauce with the cake mix, you kind of get a lesser item, the chocolate cake. He's Italian. He doesn't like chocolate cake. <laughs> the inky sauce also sells really well, so you can make a couple and sell them. The thing I've been doing with a lot of the items that we'll be cooking here is I'm just selling them back at the shop and then running around the world and buying whatever items I need. That's the way it just works. Yeah, but you still got to keep in mind the lost gain because you do what is hot sauce, 10 coins? I thought you said hot sauce mm -hmm. was 10 coins. Yeah, hot sauce is 10 so coins. So what's the inky sauce sell for? Uh, I would have to look at it again. <laughs> I could look back at the video footage because I did sell it. Okay. No worries, I'm just curious because, I mean, if you are going to do this, make sure you do weigh your options first before you do it and make sure it's worth it, mm -hmm. and, you know, because you just waste your time and money on it. But uh, That inky sauce, in my personal opinion, is worth it. Yes, it, it would can... be worth it, definitely. Especially for 30 because it's that in-between number. It's not too high, like 50, and it's not too low. Fun stuff with coconuts, by the way. So, we're going to go slightly off the uh, <laughs> the list here. This is not a recipe you have to make to complete the recipe list, but the coconut bomb plus dried bouquet. Um, I mentioned that dried bouquet plus almost anything else will normally get you space food, but in this case, it's going to create a lesser recipe. Oh yeah, <laughs> I just defused the coconut bomb to make it a coconut. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> what a great use of resources. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, it takes a little bit, I think, after Chapter 4 for you to start cooking two items together. And uh, 
Anytime before that, once you get Zesty out of your way in the front of town, you can just cook a single item. Well, it's possible for you to accumulate a whole bunch of fire flowers. If you cook the fire flower, you get a spice, spicy soup, which is eh, not that great of a healing item, to be honest. Uh, no. <laughs> yeah, we'll currently so, find that out, too, when uh, Zesty gets in my way in one of my upcoming things that I'm working on, as you know. So that kind of was like, grr, stupid Zest. Rent your game for the website of town until after chapter one. Bye. Well, anyway, Golden Leaf plus Ice Storm. What an interesting combination. Ooh, I love this healing item. 15 HP, but freezes you. Now, who would actually use that in battle? Hmm. That is... What? Really? It heals 15 HP, but it freezes you. Why the hell would you use that? You'd use a Super Shroom. <laughs> exactly. Or you'd use it outside of battle where it wouldn't freeze you. The good use for a snow bunny is it's actually part of this recipe, snow bunny plus spicy soup. This will actually get us uh, a lesser item, unfortunately, but it's part of the recipe list. It's the couple's cake. It's the uh, slow shroom you can only use on your other partner. <laughs> Speaking of lesser recipes, that isn't part of the recipe list, but I, of course, followed because I was just writing on a list, and this was the next one on the list, a mushroom and a Mr. Softener. Oh yeah, wonderful use of resources. Dry shroom. Waste. <laughs> well, I guess not. I mean, if it was a special dried shroom, you could, you know, eat it and Mario would start tripping balls. After all, he does eat shrooms. Cough. A good use of a dried shroom is outside of battle. If any of your partners are downed, that dried shroom will bring them up to 1 HP. And then you could put on Mega Rush P and then they're going to kick ass. Ooh. But that's about it. Special. Ooh, cool. An egg bomb. So just for fun, this also isn't part of the recipe list. If you cook a mystery, you get something mysterious. <laughs> there's no other way I can put it. Maybe there's something online that says what you can get out of a mystery. But I decided to cook a mystery just for the hell of it. I had to go to the Great Tree for that egg anyway. And they sell mysteries there. I don't know how in the world you cook a Dizzy Dial, though. Guess we'll find out. Anyway, good news, that coconut bomb and that egg bomb put together, and this is an item you can make pretty early. It's a little convoluted to make because you have to make the coconut bomb and the egg bomb, but we get a really cool item from it. This is actually worth cooking. Ooh! The Zest Dynamite. That's the most powerful attacking item in the game, actually. Really? <laughs> Yes, it attacks all enemies for, if memory serves me right, 8 damage to all enemies. The only problem with it is it's explosive damage, but other than that, it's the most damaging item in the game, actually. No, there's nothing wrong with explosive damage. I can think of a couple things I wish I had that on. Because you don't have mm. Bobbery at that point. Hmm. Well, you'd have to be able to get coconuts, so you would have Bobbery by the time you'd be able to make it. Well, true. Electropop. Um, uh, I guess if you don't want to use the Volt Shroom as a Volt Shroom, an Electro Pop could be useful. Waste. Anywho, if you decide to go out of your way to get a cake mix and combine it with that Fire Flower, instead of cooking a spicy soup, we do get a better item than the spicy soup. That's the general good thing about cake mixes. Anything plus cake mix will generally get you a good item, like the Fire Pop. 20 FP. That's nothing to scoff about. I want my strawberry cakes back, damn it. I'm just going to say that now. I missed that recipe. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to throw that out there. Oh, the Keel Mangle from Key Hall Key. If you cook that by itself, remember the Keel Mangle heals 5 HP by itself. And, of course, you cook it and it heals 5 FP and cures poison. Bah, useless. The cures poison could be useful. When do you ever get poisoned? Well, admittedly, poison actually isn't very common in this game, actually. Yeah, it's not as common as in Pit Mario 1, which is quite common. That I will agree with. 
what, there's, what, two areas in the game it primarily pops up in? Yeah, and how often do you get poisoned before you raffle stomp them anyway? <laughs> so there's always poison puffs at the bottom of the pit of 100 trials. Again, the raffle stomp comes to mind. Fruit parfait! Or parfait. 10 HP, 2 FP. Kind of interesting item, um, but nothing outstanding. So, this is a pretty predictable recipe, by the way. What happens when you cook an egg? Do you have a fried egg? <laughs> yes! 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 You win today's quiz! Really? What did I win? A cookie? You win a fried egg. Oh my god! I that's, You asked me what you do when you get a fried egg. I haven't showed this off yet. Um, If you whack this uh thing here ten times, you get a horse tail. What? Just figured I'd show off how you actually get horse tails in the game because I haven't actually gotten one yet. Yeah, I haven't. We're gonna... I didn't even know I was there. What the hell does it do? It does nothing other than when you whack it ten times, you get a horse tail. Oh, the horse, the horse tail. tail. Yeah. Horse tail by itself is a rather mediocre item, but here's a really cool item. If you go to Petal Bark, pick up a turtle leaf, then go out to the Petal Meadows, pick up a horse tail, you can actually make a really good healing item that costs you nothing other than your time. A healthy salad, 15 FP, and cures poisoning. Eh. I mean, it's not outstanding, but keep in mind that's a free recipe. Entirely free. Just only costs your time. My time is very valuable. <laughs> Let's go ahead and use some more cake mix on stuff. Strawberry cake? No. We're taking the item that confuses enemies and combining that with cake mix. Okay, well that's and close, but that's not quite what I was looking for. 20 FP and softens you. Ugh, Once again, that's a horrible don't, use that, one. don't use that in battle. <laughs> I guess that's my gripe about the cooking stuff in this game. They made the really good recipes, but they they added those status ailments, which really is a deal breaker. Why why would you impose a status ailment on yourself when you might have enough trouble in the game as it is? Once again, use it outside of battle. Or you could just make a honey candy. That also heals 20 FP, but it doesn't cause anything bad to you. Yeah, okay, so there you go. But I mean, you know what I mean? It's like, okay, so what, now I'm restricted to using items outside of battle because of the status ailments? No! If I need to use exactly. it, I like the flexibility to use it whenever the hell I want. Exactly. Here we go with another point swappable. A fire flower and a point swap. I bring out this recipe specifically because, uh... Well, it's kind of interesting. A fire flower just does three damage to all enemies. You combine that with a point swap and you get a uh, item that is an ice storm. It does three damage to all enemies but could possibly freeze them. That's nice. Interesting. I actually did that because I needed an ice storm for the next uh, recipe, which is uh, ice storm and honey syrup. God, you're bringing back so much memories now. I'm going to have to start playing Paper Mario 1 again. Because that's actually my favorite chapter is the ice is the ice castle. Oh. Okay. I should actually start playing that again. Stop giving me ideas. Ooh, icicle pop. Eh, that's kind of a mediocre item. Heals 10 HP. <laughs> but it's still All an right. icicle pop. So fresh pasta is an item you get from the Poshley Heights. It heals 10 HP and 5 FP by itself, but its only problem, it costs 50 coins to get. Now, this is the other problem I had with this game for the cooking recipe, because pasta in the original Paper Mario was awesome, and it helped you out really early on. But since it's so late in the game, why would you do this? It sucks! Why would... Why why would you cook the pasta that heals 10 HP, 5 FP, and get an item that heals 6 HP and 4 FP, unless you're doing what I'm doing and trying to get all the recipes in the game? Oh, exactly! That's why I... Oh, I wanted to kill somebody when I did that the first time. <laughs> when you made spaghetti and you're like, ah, Yeah, why? I wanted to make, like, shroom steak, you know? And make shroom steak, but no! That's not what happened. Lovely. I'm going to be trying to take care of as many of these pasta recipes as possible, with as few pastas as possible. You can actually get all the pasta recipes from just two fresh pasta. Not bad. Might as well just waste your money and flush it down the toilet. <laughs> so, there's the coupe pasta. 
Bah! 7 HP, 7 FP? That was not worth the 50 coins for that stupid pasta. Anyway, coming back here, we combine that coop pasta with inky sauce. Um, you can actually do this with inky sauce and just the fresh pasta in the beginning, but... We do get a... A decent item. But nothing I'll go out of my way to get. Pink pasta. The ink pasta. So the 30 FP healing plus 10 HP. Now that's not too bad, but considering the materials needed for that, uh, that that's a little tough to mass produce. Especially at the ink, 50 coins ink a pop. Ink pasta isn't by... Ink, yeah, exactly. Um, this is known as real life coming into action. So one real life later and back to the game to do more cooking. I thought we teleported to another land and dimension. <laughs> Alright, let's kick that music back on and start running around the Paper Mario world and cooking more crap. We're cooking crap? Well... I guess I shouldn't call it crap. <laughs> We're cooking <laughs> ingredients you find throughout the Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door universe. <laughs> oh, okay. Once again, I recommend to the audience just put on some good music, whatever they enjoy, and just sit back and relax on this episode. <laughs> oh, lovely item. 10 HP, 3 FP. Nah, not worth the trouble considering you have to go through for mangoes. And at that point in the game, why would you do that? Again, uh, whoever decided to do these recipes... I want to just drag them out into the street and slowly shoot them in the foot. And then proceed <laughs> Make to run them these over. these items worth something, right? I, I don't know what they were thinking. The items in the original Paper Mario were great. They were awesome. They were unique. They helped you out in specific instances. They were... You could never die if you had those items. I guess they didn't want that in this game. And it really ticked me off when I started playing with recipes. I was like, Look at really? this item. It's not worth it. Love pudding. Makes you sleepy so, and gives you a status ailment? It can either make you sleepy, electrified, or fall asleep. Or wait, um, invisible, electrified, or sleepy. Um, really, why would you take your chances on that when you could just get a boo sheet? Exactly, or a Voltrum. It's cheaper. It's five coins. <laughs> or ten. Mm. I don't remember. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Don't get too specific on everything here. Um, I've already cooked a shroom fry, but it was kind of important for this next recipe. This next item is really useful, but it isn't frugal to make. It is a uh, shroom fry and a shooting star. It's the meteor mo meal. That's the heal 7 HP plus HP regeneration. That's, once again, a pretty damn good item, just not frugal to make. I shooting would, stars aren't easy to get your hands on. I would negate that. I would say the shooting star is probably a lot better than an item that gives me plus 7 health. When, and HP regeneration. Yeah, well, with the HP regen, I could just have gone by a super shroom and then heal me plus 10. Or a slow shroom. Yeah, it's not practical, I guess. Mm -hmm. This is, going back to my earlier rant, I will kill the guy that made the recipes. I don't know, a meteor meal, in my personal opinion, is actually a pretty good item, because you get the benefit of HP regeneration and healing HP. Um, this omelet meal is um, bogus. The only thing going for it is you have to pay nothing to, <laughs> to make it, but make a healthy salad, darn it. Mario's not much one for omelets. Peachy Peach plus Mystic Egg. Now, Peachy Peach you have to sleep at the Twilight Town Inn to pick up. Plus, the egg that you have to play with the Toonie to make. Let's see what this nets us. I don't like the Sleepy Town Inn. It scares me. I don't think I want to sleep there much. Have a nice Twilight. <sighs> oh, yay! It's another one of these items. Electrified, dodgy, or sleepy. Yeah. No. That's a selling. <laughs> no, just, just no. Alright, we're going about to make a really cool item in this game, and by cool I mean, um, well, anyway, you'll see. It's a point swap and a slow shroom. 
This is actually one of the uh, point swappables you actually have to cook, not one of the many ones that exist in the game. It isn't part of the recipe list. It's a poison shroom. Eat it, it'll a poison, poison you. <laughs> oh, you can have a lot of fun with that item, though. If you uh, wear a badge you'll be getting in the near future, instead of poisoning you, it'll either heal you all the way, or knock your HP in half. Wow. Do you really want to take that risk? Well, when you have 200 HP. I would take that <laughs> or risk. Or 900 and... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> HP. And when you have absurdly high amounts of HP, this item might actually be worth the chance, but... Yeah, I yeah, I was about to say, if I had my 999 HP, hey, what the hell, i do it anyway. Yes, go ahead and grab a couple of poison shrooms, put on the badge, I'll definitely mention in the near future, and take the chance of that heal all, but that's about it. I don't even know why I would need it, I probably wouldn't die in the whole game anyway. <laughs> <laughs> 200 HP. <laughs> oh, that's, that's a very good point. Well, you possibly is... could, I guess, triple damage, or double damage would, uh, would be useful. Anyway, time for more point swappables. Before we did the Thunder Rage plus point swap, which does give shooting stars, so if you want to know the best way to get shooting stars, that probably is it, because Thunder Rages cost a lot less than shooting stars. <laughs> but a Spite Pouch and a Ruin Powder both point swap back and forth. Alright, time for a funny recipe. If you combine a couple's cake, which is not easy to make, and a poison shroom, which is a little convoluted to make, that's a strange recipe. A fluffy, heartful cake that causes HP regeneration is kind of useless to make, and the poison shroom, which is dubious to make... Let's put those together. The Trial Stew! This yields incredible results. I can't wait to use this. It yields incredible results. Where's the disclaimer? There has to be a disclaimer on that. <laughs> There's a disclaimer! I know there is! Don't lie to me. It yields incredible results. Yeah. That's all I'm gonna say about it at the moment. Yeah, so does the Bowflex. I'm using that, actually. So, so does the Bowflex, but they don't tell you the disclaimer on that. Alright, so if you pick up a couple of golden leaves when you're uh, at uh, the Creepy Steeple, that's actually a really smart idea. Because this allows you to make Zest Tea 20 FP. That's a pretty good healing item for just an item you have to pick up at the uh, Creepy Steeple. Not bad. Figured I would show off that I picked up that Slow Shroom so someone doesn't ask me in the future video, When did you pick up that Slow Shroom, Miles <laughs> Luigi? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I love that. Um, You're going to have to do that more often. <laughs> you remember when I did the mushroom and the Mr. Softener? Yeah. Well, if you do a dried shroom and a hot sauce, you can actually buff that dried shroom back to a regular mushroom. It takes a hot sauce to rejuvenate a dried shroom. <laughs> yes. Wow. See? Just pour a little bit of hot sauce over the mushroom. Why would you, you buy a 10-coin hot sauce when you could buy a normal mushroom for, like, five? <laughs> yes! Yes! Thank you, thank uh, you, thank you. Shoot me now, please. Oh, we're about to make your favorite recipe. It's the mushroom and cake mix recipe. Oh, yay. This is probably the recipe you were referring to as the recipe you made commonly in the original Paper Mario. This is a good recipe in both games, but it isn't spectacular in this game. Um, no. 10 HP, 10 FP. No, I, I want my strawberry cake back. Hmm. That's not bad, but... Well, it's not bad considering the ingredients, the mushroom and a cake mix, all things considered. I mean, I spammed it early on in the original Pit Mario, so that's why it helped me out so much, and that's why I'm a huge advocator of it. But at this point in the game, or at least when you get the chance to do the Pinta Parlor, you have to have the paper game. So really, it's not lucrative when you're halfway through the game. Well, you could also do the playing game. It's not as fast, though. No, I, I, I'm i like you. I only touch the paper game when I go in there, because that's all it's worth my time. Oh, yay. We just took a slow shroom and a turtley leaf and got back what is equivalently a slow shroom. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> yeah, that broth does exactly what a slow shroom does. What a waste. 
Alright, here's a useful recipe. Fire flower plus mushroom. Both of these are very easily attainable items, not very expensive items, and they do actually make something pretty cool together. So let's take one power-up from Super Mario Brothers, combine it with the other power-up from Super Mario Brothers, and... Woohoo, the Shroom Roast! That's not too HP. bad. I guess. Relatively good. 15 HP, 5 FP. That's not too Considering bad. Considering the ingredients. Yeah, that's not too bad. Alright. So, uh... I believe you were referring to, uh... Something specifically earlier. There's multiple ways to make a lot of these recipes, and I'm usually showing off what I personally think is the easiest way to make everything here. This next recipe is a really good one. The easiest way i found to make this one is a mushroom and a life shroom. If you don't feel like buying a life shroom, you could always go off to uh, the Riverside Station and farm for a life shroom. This gets you that shroom steak. 30 HP, 10 FP. Now, shroom steak is definitely what I worth when. I, whenever I had a chance, I did go get a normal mushroom and a life shroom just because of shroom steak. And it does turn out to be a really nice item that I spammed quite a bit. Um, <laughs> shroom I, steak is very good. Yeah. So before, the only problem is accumulating life shrooms. They're expensive to buy. Or you could cut off to the Riverside Station because a lot of the enemies there hold life shrooms. I just ended up buying them at that point. What are they, what, 30 coins? 20 coins? I think they're 50 coins. Well, actually, you're right. They probably are 50 coins. But yeah, they're still a decent item that I tried spamming. I mean, it's probably not practical. Koopa but. The Kuba bun, this, that's basically the same as the healthy salad, except it doesn't cure poisoning. Two free items, though. Keel mango and turtley leaf. Anyway, I go ahead and cook another healthy salad here for, uh, for a recipe right after uh, I cook the Koopa bun. So the shroom steak is before it takes a mushroom and a life shroom to make. You can take that shroom steak with the healthy, sal healthy salad and get an even better item. Oh really? Yes, this this one you might want to pay attention to because this is a pretty important recipe in the game actually. I am not aware of this one. Mm -hmm. The healthy salad is completely free. The shroom steak can cost a little bit. You typically have to buy the mushroom. Um, life shroom you either have to buy or run on over to the riverside station. So you bring these two together, and look at the healing item you get. This is a damn good healing item. Oh, it's the Zest Deluxe! Yep, oh that's my God. how you get the Zest Deluxe. I didn't know that. I knew the Zest Deluxe was in the game, I just never knew how to create it. That's how you create it. That's hmm. a really cheap way to get a 40 HP, 40 FP healing item. Yeah, considering. Mm-hmm. You were complaining earlier about how Wackabumps weren't cookable. They are actually cookable. They're not cookable in anything decent. Let's let's make that straight. All right, you you got me there. Let's 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 rephrase that, because I could go on Paper Mario One and cook a Wackabump into some freaking awesome stuff. We just took a 25 HP, 25 FP item and turned it into a 20 HP, 20 FP item. Yeah, it's no. I would have kept the Wackabump and ate that. Mhm. Mm Delicious lump was better uncooked. Try thinking of a food item that's better uncooked than cooked. <laughs> that's basically what the Wacka's Bump is. Oh my god, I don't have a snappy comeback for that. Damn it! What is better uncooked and then, than cooked? Mushroom plus horse tail will get you the zest dinner. 10 HP, 10 FP. Not bad, considering the ingredients. But that's about it. This is a useless meal, by the way. Zest dinner plus courage cell. Um, the zest dinner... That's what I got all the Wacka's Bump. Plus Courage Cell. Well, let's just see. I don't know if Sushi would be on that list. This gives you the Courage Meal, which you can throw at an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That does four damage defense piercing to one enemy. <laughs> That's what the courage cell does. Was that really worth cooking? No, no. <laughs> Steve Carell, no. <laughs> no. Um, it turns out for a lot of these recipes, I counted my ultra shrooms and jam and jellies and went, oh crap, I'm going to have to buy two jam and jellies. I went ahead and bought the one from Charlieton. 
because that one's cheaper than the one in the uh, store in the Rogueport sewers. Yeah, she ripped your ass it. off. Mm -hmm. I'm still sitting here. Now you got me thinking. What is better, food uncooked than cooked? Sushi? Hmm. I don't know. Sushi? Am I, am I thinking too exotic or not simple enough? How about pop tarts? Hmm. There you go. But I don't know. The warm, warm, gooey pop tarts are a lot better than cold pop tarts. So I gotta. That's that's a tough one. Okay, this gets us the jelly candy. Woohoo! 64 FP. Good way to extend the jam and jelly. For more coins, I went down the first 10 floors of the Pit of 100 Trials with money, money on. Uh. Oh, look, look at what I found. Oh, I hate you. <laughs> Yoink! <laughs> Yoink. Didn't come here for that badge. I came down here for money. That's what she said. No? Oh, okay. Bad. <laughs> bad joke was bad. <sighs> but yeah, this is the preferred way of uh, actually getting money late in the game instead of the Sleepy Sheep's trick because that trick honestly takes a while. And this gets you like 30 coins each time you go down 10 floors. Even more if you have more money money badges. I decided to sell that HP+. plus. Do I really ever need 60 HP, or even for the heck of it, 55 HP? I thought not, so I decided to sell actually two HP pluses. I would have not done that, but okay. So before, when am I ever going to increase my HP above 50? Never. This is coming from the person that had 999 HP, and I thought that wasn't enough. <laughs> okay, we're going to be spending a while cooking the mushroom and syrup recipes. We all know what all these are. We all know how they all come out. So it's time for our concluding poll. Sadly, because we're recording this um, before we know the poll results from the last video. You're going to have to look in the description. Honestly, the only mushroom plus syrup recipe worth making, honestly, is either the Honey Super or the Jelly Ultra. The Honey Super because it's pretty easy to get uh, Super Shrooms and Maple Syrups, and the Jelly Ultra because it is the best healing item in the game. So remember when we cooked the uh, Ultra or the Jam and Jelly with the Cake Mix, we got an even better FP healing item? Well, let's cook the Cake Mix with the Ultra Shroom. Sadly, this doesn't give you a better HP healing item, but this gives you a more balanced item in terms of healing. This gives you the Shroom Crepe. 30 HP, 20 FP. That's not too bad. Again, it's maybe a little bit wild ingredients, but that would be one of the items I would consider as useful for mid-game, maybe. Yeah. Overall good item, but expensive items needed to uh, create it in the first place. Oh, this is a me finishing off all the pasta recipes in the game. Hot sauce plus fresh pasta. So, let's go ahead and take some fresh pasta and just add hot sauce to it. Would you eat just hot sauce with fresh pasta? Hot sauce on spaghetti? Hmm. Except there wouldn't be any marinara or spaghetti sauce. It's just hot sauce and spaghetti. Ugh. It'll heal 10 HP and 10 FP. Well, anyway, we're almost done here. We're just going to go ahead and cook the lonely coconut all by itself. The coconut actually heals 5 HP, even though it doesn't say anything in the descriptor. And if we cook it, we, uh... Well, this is another one of those recipes not worth cooking on, the fact it's actually on the, uh, cooking list. That gets you the tasty tonic. But thankfully, we're almost done. Just, uh... There's actually only three recipes left. Congratulations for sitting through all this crap. Huzzah! The gradual syrup and cake mix. 
Gradual syrup actually isn't too difficult to find because the uh, underground shop sells gradual syrup, so that's good to know. And cake mix isn't too hard to get. It gets us this item here. I don't remember this item being remarkable, so I don't want to say it's good. Huh. Zest cookie. That's actually not that bad. Okay, second last item. So I think before I made a honey syrup and an ice storm. I forgot what that made, actually. Let's go ahead and make a maple syrup and an ice storm. Oh. I think the last one gave us a popsicle. That one gave us a frappe. All right. Let's look at this. Woohoo! All the rests uh, except one. I'm missing a recipe. I wonder what recipe I'm missing. Dun dun dun! Oh no. Well, there are many, 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 many ways to make this recipe. I'm gonna go with one of the cheapest ways. Just cook a tasty tonic. This better be good. <laughs> it's the mistake. That actually counts as a recipe. You have to cook at least one mistake. Face palm. You can make the argument that I actually made something out of that tasty tonic. Um, complete, completely did all the recipes. And I decided to show my item distribution. This is everything I have in storage right now at the moment. Which is that and everything I currently have Mario on Mario. Mm, I could actually stand to get a couple uh, point swaps and make those thunder rages shooting stars. I might actually do that. Woohoo! That was long. That long? Yes, that long task was very long, and at that point I decided to just look at everything again, just to make double sure of everything. Well, we've made it to the end of Cooking Recipes. I hope you enjoyed Cooking Hour with Miles Luigi. And the Evil Pop Talk. Let's see you while we're going back on the main quest next time!